Hey everybody, I'm tinkering with my new Tandy 1000SX. There are issues. Okay, now, well it's missing the little door, but who cares? But here's what's going on. Okay, turn on the screen. Gives you a nice loud whirring sound and a white screen. I was wondering what that was going to look like on the screen. The scan rate? We'll see. Now this is the RGB monitor, right? I'm not using a television set yet. Now reach over here. Nice big fan, and you get memory size 640K. Wow. That was the bomb back in the day. Okay, you got lots of activity over here. You got the hard drive light lighting up. I'm not really sure why yet. It's not accessing it. And you saw this light was lit up. Now what I had to do, the, he broke the, remember in the other video, he broke the thing off. So I had to, I took a dead drive, it's a Teak, by the way, T-E-A-C brand drive, and see this is what was broken on the drive, little, supposed to have a little thing sticking out, metal, and I took this entire, well, this bracket from this drive here, and, well, it was a dead drive anyway, it wouldn't even turn on. Now, back here, what we got going on? It says, BIOS, ROM version, blah, 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 compatible, okay. Phoenix BIOS, right? Insert system diskette and strike any key when ready. Now, okay, this is the original faceplate, but it's kind of, it's bent. You, you can't really tell, but it's bent, and it's got, it's broken right here. So I just took, now it's the original drive. I just took that one part and the faceplate. They're both teaks, right? Or TEC or whatever. So everything swapped over nicely. But, okay, now, go over here, MS-DOS with GW Basic. Now, hold on. Okay, so this is the work, well, the apparently working drive, right? Put it in, and I did inspect it. It is spinning, and it is, the heads are, are going down. Now, insert system diskette, strike any key. Tandy forgot to put the any key on this computer, so I have to use the space bar. Now it's reading! Sweet! MS-DOS, I don't know what happened. It didn't enter new date and time. Let's see. Okay, well, I don't care. Enter. Enter. Got DOS run. <laughs> see, this was going to be a look how it's broken video, but now look how it's working. This is awesome. Well, I got Great. 3.2. <laughs> it's version MS-DOS by Microsoft. Microsoft had their hands in everything. Turn on a Commodore, there's Microsoft. Turn on a Tandy, there's Microsoft. MS-DOS Reserve, version 3.2. 81 to 86. That's registered. Yeah. And, okay, so it works. Now, what? Now, i gotta, I got to do some reading and figure out how to get into here. Because that's a Seagate ST225. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's got something doing a DIR. It's the DIR of the floppy disk. Put a lot of stuff on a floppy disk back in the day. Okay, well, and you'll notice this is still being used. This is DOS 3.2. It's still being used in Windows Terminal. The keyboard needs a little love. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the GW Basic. I think it's it's not in there, but I bet it's inside a. We got Basic. Now GW Basic, just Basic. Doesn't want to click. Looks like it might have keyboard issues too. Well, it's been sitting in a barn in El Paso for probably 20 years, so.
There it is. Tandy saying hello, YouTube. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, it works. I repaired the floppy drive by the bracket and the little arm broken off. Let me... The arm is broken off. And at first I tried to take just the arm out, but I was like, wait a minute. It's got some retainer pins that take some tools I don't have. So, there it went. And we got basic running. Now it's time to play Wheel of Fortune, if I can find it. How about Gorilla? <laughs> Maybe Gorilla. He throws a banana back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Gorilla.bas, I believe is the name of the file he's referring to. Old, old game. Okay, well, holy cow. Six minutes devoted to a Tandy. And yes, you can see the really cool Atari shirt and... You can barely see that. Okay, I don't like to be in my own videos because I'm not the subject. This is the subject. He is the subject. I am the subject. <laughs> this is the subject of the video. You okay. Send him a six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have yet to hook up the printer. He is the subject. And this is working nicely. I guess he just needed to like get back into whack. You know, that's something else I've been meaning to comment on. Somebody says something's whack, meaning it's bad, but when then. But then something, when it gets out of whack, that's bad. So you got to always have a little bit of whack. Even if it's whack, you got to have a little bit of whack. Because when you get out of whack, that's just bad. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's the whack inducer right there. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Having fun. Bye-bye.